In this video, I will give a high-level introduction of regression trees. I will show that it's quite similar to um, decision trees in that it partitions the input space. Um, and I will show you how these models um, do that and how we can make predictions on a new um, data points if I give you um, a regression tree. In the next videos, we will then talk about how we actually learn, construct or grow these um, regression trees. So looks, let's look at an example. Um, this is a data set of um, baseball players um, from the US. Okay, And each one of these points represent a specific player. Okay, so for example, uh, let's look at this player here. That player has played baseball for uh, around four years. Okay, so they've played for around four years. They've made um, around, I don't know, 25 hits, 25 hits. Okay, and they get a salary of, if you trace back here, of around 200 um, thousand dollars a year. Okay, so this data set for different players shows you for the number of years that they've played and for the number of hits that they've made, it tells you what their salary was. Okay, um, let's look at another player. So this player right at the back here, that player has played for, uh, let's say, I think around 17 years. Okay, they've made a lot of hits, maybe around 240, and they get a very, very large salary. Okay, maybe around uh, $1,900,000 a year. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, and the data set, of course, contains uh, many different points. Okay, and we might want to use this data set to train a regression model which takes in the years as one feature the hits as a second feature, and then tries to predict the salary of a player. Okay, so we might have the data points here. So n is equal to one, that's our first training data point. This is our second training data point, And we go on like this until we have um, big n training data points. And from those data points, we might want to train a model that um, can predict um, baseball player salaries. Okay, now salaries is a continuous um, value. So this is a regression problem. And in a previous video, we looked at multiple linear regression, which could take a data set like this and would try to fit a plane in this surface to accurately predict a player's salary. Now regression trees, in contrast, will try and separate the um, input feature space into little blocks, very similar to decision trees. And then in each block, we will predict a constant value for any player landing in that block. Okay, we will see now um, how that works. Before that, um, the data is actually a little bit hard to visualize um, using a 3D scatter plot like this. Here's an alternative plot um, where, again, we've got the number of years that the player has been, have been playing. Uh, the number of hits that they've made, okay? And now what I've done is every circle here, the size of that circle is an indication of the player's salary. So this player here gets a very, very high salary. They've played for uh, maybe 14 years and they make around 200 hits, okay? This player here, much smaller circle, um, so they get a much smaller salary than this player. And that player have, has also made a lot fewer hits and have been playing for just one year. So let's see what happens if we fit a regression tree to this data set. Um, okay, so this is the tree that we, we get when we train that on this model. And, and, and let's see what this tree does. So in the top node here, we ask a question. We ask, is the years that um, this player I've been playing, is that less than 4.5? So 4.5 is somewhere here. And we're asking, is the number of years that this player I've been playing, is it less than 4.5, okay? If that's true, if that's true, okay, then we end up in this leaf node here, okay? And that means that that corresponds to this region, right? This region corresponds to the one where years um, is less than 4.5, okay? And 
if that happens, then we will predict in that region that the player um, gets $225.831 thousand dollars a year. Okay, 225.831. Okay, let's say that's false. So the player has actually been playing for more than 4.5 years, then we will go this direction in the tree. Okay, and then we ask the question, is the the hits that this player has made, is that less than 117.5? Okay, so 117.5 is somewhere here. And we can draw a little line there. And we ask, has a player made less hits uh, than 117? Okay, if that's true, right, if our hits are less than 117, then we know we're in this bottom region here. And that region then it corresponds to this node here, right? If that's true, we go left and we end up in that node. And then we predict that the player in that region would get four six four point nine one seven um thousand dollars here. Four six four point nine one seven. Okay. If that was not true, in other words, we made more hits than one one seven point five, then we would be in this top region here. And then we would predict that the player gets nine four nine point one seven one um thousand dollars a year okay that's a lot of money okay so what you can see here is that every one of these leaf nodes the bottom nodes in our tree actually corresponds to a specific region this leaf node here um, would correspond to this region here so this region here this region corresponds to this leaf node Similarly, this leaf node here corresponds to this region here, okay? And this leaf node here then corresponds to this region up here. Okay, so we can see that um, very similar to decision trees, this regression trees separates out the um, the input feature space into these blocks and then with within each block it makes the same prediction we could have drawn that a little bit differently we could have drawn it like this um, okay where um, here we have the same picture from before here we've got the first region the second region and the third region and um, if we consider that on a 3d plot like this one um, again we have uh, here we've got region one Okay, where years are less than 4.5, and that would correspond to this region here. Okay, and within that region, we predict that players get, um, let's just confirm this, uh, 225.831. Okay, and that would be this height here. Okay, so maybe we can call that value C1. Okay, and any player within region 1 would get a salary of C1, or is predicted to get a salary of C1. Similarly, any player in this region here, region two, which corresponds on this plot to this region here, okay, would get a salary of that much C2. Um, I believe that was just more than $400,000 a year. Okay, and then finally, you can guess this, the region up here corresponds to this region here, and that's players that get just more than uh, more than $900,000 a year. So that value there would be C3. And any player in this region is predicted to get the salary C3, any player in this region C2. So that was an example of regression trees. Um, very often in textbooks, you will see that decision trees and regression trees are kind of referred to together as classification and regression trees, or just CART. Okay, and I try to be precise when I talk about decision trees, I'm specifically talking about classification. And when I'm talking about regression trees, I'm talking about regression. But sometimes I mess up my terminology a little bit and I might sometimes say uh, I use a decision tree for regression. But, but really decision trees are used for classification and regression trees for regression. But you will see also in textbooks that they sometimes uh, mess up the terminology. Now, the one benefit of these models, uh, in contrast to some other models, um, is that we can actually look 
at how they make decisions, right? In this example here, you can clearly see how the model decides um, what the salary of a player should be, right? They look at the number of years and the number of hits, and that's how they separate the input space. And that's something that's um, a great thing about um, decision trees. In this example, you can actually see that the prediction makes um, a lot of sense. If a player hasn't been playing for that many years, right? Any player in this area here, they get a relatively low salary, 225, okay? If you've been playing for more years, then in general, your salary will be a little bit higher, but that can also depend on your hits, the hits that you've made. If you've been playing for uh, many years, okay, so kind of on this side, but you're not making your hits, then you're probably going to be in this bottom block. So you're getting a higher salary than the new players, but not nearly as much as the other experienced players who are actually making a lot of hits. Okay, so you're up there. So now I've given you a high level overview of um, decision trees and regression trees. Okay, you now know how to make, um, if I give you a new data point and ask you what should the salary of this player, which is not in the training set, what, should, what would you expect the salary to be? You, and I give you the tree, then you should be able to tell me what the predicted salary would be. But we haven't spoken about how you actually construct the trees, right? How do you know where to put these boundaries, okay? And how do you know within the boundaries which values to assign? And that's what we'll look at um, in the next few videos.